Hello, friends. Today we learn about replay analysis. And who better to teach it than me, a guy whose entire channel revolves around analyzing replays? Uh, I really do think I'm at least reasonable at it. Um, the key to understanding replay analysis is to know that there's not really actually much skill involved. It's just that I do it, and many people don't do it. And that's really what the difference is. Most people, the vast majority of people, just don't watch replays. But I think watching other people who are better than you play from a first-person perspective, just you will naturally just gain stuff, right? If you watch a Twitch game, if you watch um, like a Dota game from a tournament and you watch it from the caster's point of view, you will learn very little. Because while you, it's fun to see the different teams clash and stuff, you're not learning the nitty-gritty that's going to actually make you better. You're not learning specific item builds. You're not learning what order they skill in. Different tricks that are just different than how you would play. Um, so, it's okay to watch Twitch streams, obviously, for fun. All, if you want to try to learn, then you definitely want to be watching, like, actual player stream, as opposed to tournament games. I watch tournament games, but I understand it's for fun, and it's not, you're not generally going to learn a whole lot, unless you're actually going in and watching it in-client from a player perspective. That's what's going to actually help you to learn. Now, there's two main things you can watch in a replay, is either other people's or your own. If you watch your own... Pretty straightforward. Download your own replays. Watch them. You can watch them from your own player perspective. You can watch them from your opponents. You'd be surprised at just how much mistakes, how many mistakes you make. It's just almost nonstop. Even games that I feel like I play well, and that's half the reason why I watch replays of my own. Sometimes it's just like, oh yeah, I played really well. Let's feel good. Let's watch me stomp some noobs. And then I watch them. I'm like, oh shit. I missed like a ton of last hits because I didn't even attempt them because I was tunnel visioning on this. I forgot my bottle. I did, you know, like it's like nonstop errors. It's a lot easier to see mistakes when you're watching as opposed to playing. The, the, the game just seems slower because uh, you don't have to focus on stuff. So try to watch your own replays. I probably watch one out of every like four games or so. Uh, you can do it. You can even just download replays of your own in between matches and watch them. It has to be like two games ago, though, because if you just end a match, you can't immediately download it. It takes like six, ten minutes for it to become available. All right, the other really big thing is watching other people's replays. So it's just pretty straightforward. You go to Dota Buff. You search for the hero. So say we want to learn Night Stalker. And you just want to watch. You want to find someone who plays him well. So you click the hero, click player rankings. Top Night Stalker, obviously yours truly. So this would be who I would watch to learn. Technically untrue. I don't ever watch myself to watch... Uh, you know, I can't learn anything from watching my own games. I mean, you know, I can learn my own mistakes, but I can't learn new item builds and stuff. Um, so, but yeah, so I would click in, I'd play some, or watch some games. Um, notice, by the way, 1,300 versus other people, 52. You can get on the top of the leaderboard just by being a pro and facing exclusively pro players. It will bump your score up a huge amount, even though you you can't even watch a replay of him. The last one is 10 days ago. You know, they, they expire after eight days. Um, granted, you can't watch one of mine either. I haven't played much recently. I've been focusing on this MMR guide. But, you know, normally uh, you will be able to just download one of my replays of Night Stalker. Easy peasy. Um, but this works. This works for any hero. It, you don't have to just do a, um, a core hero, whatever. You can. This is a nice way to learn support. If you really want to learn support, you know, why not? Go for it. Let's watch some good support players play. So, top ranked one. 90% win rate, 130, kind of suspicious. I would say that almost certainly there's some fuckery going on here. You don't get 90%. Um, but this guy, 1,600, 55. 55 is actually a very high win, win rate to have um, with this many matches played. So the, I would learn from Leap Banana. You go through, you click on, you can click on here, and it just shows you all their matches filtered by the hero. You can also like click around to his actual matches to see unfiltered. But that's not what we were here to learn. Ancient Apparition, right? We don't want to watch him play Tidehunter or something. So then, next thing you do, you pick a good match. You want to pick one where he wins. You don't watch lost matches. Matches, like sure, in theory, you can learn from lost matches, but. The simple truth is, a lot of times you lose matches, it's like, because you'll watch it and you'll be like, oh, he's just having a bad day. He, like, died some really obvious ways that he shouldn't have. Or, you know, something, he just made some obvious mistakes. You want to watch him play well. So, you pick a game that they won, and you also, I like to pick ones that have a reasonably good score. Like, this one's a really high score, 7-1, short game, you know, we could just watch this. 
Um, notice it is kind of a blowout, 38-8. to eight. That's okay. It's okay to watch blowouts. You can learn a lot from those. That's the type of game that you want to play. You want to win in blowouts. You know, so it's okay to watch that first. Maybe if you want a more nuanced view later, and you want to see how things are, uh, how things go whenever it's not so easy, maybe that would be okay to watch. But I think it's okay to start with a blowout game because this is the type of game again you want to play. This is gonna be you're getting a small advantage and you're building it into a huge advantage, and you're playing a game where the opponent had very little chance. You know, the only downside is sometimes you'll find these blowout games and you'll see an opponent just like absolutely feed. That doesn't always happen, but whatever. You go in, you paste it, you download the replay in the interest of time. I've already downloaded it for you. Uh, you press watch. Side note, do you think this guy looks like Jade Gollum from Hearthstone? Like the, the, the lowest level. The one from like rank 1 through 3. If you guys play Hearthstone. If you don't, never mind. Places, um, everyone. It's in the bag. Alright, so Ancient Apparition. Look, he's a support. Does normal support things. Buys wards. Buys Tango. Guy gives them to his core. You know, and then I'm not going to actually analyze this replay, but I'm just going to, you know, that's basically it. But look, look, little things. You can just learn little things. He saw that the ogre walked up, and then he saw that the ogre walked away without the ward, and so he got a D ward. That's not even, like, specific to uh, Ancient Apparition, but these, these little things that you learn, uh, that can add to your play. That would be something you could add to everyone, you know? The fact that he actually he moused over to ogre, noticed that he didn't have the ward, or did, then didn't. Easy D ward. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. It's been a wild ride. These guides were a lot of work, but also a lot of fun once I started getting into them. Uh, give me a follow, give me a subscribe. I've intentionally not said that at the end of most of my videos in the interest of being high yield, but this is a short chapter. So, if you like my stuff, give me a like, follow, all that. I'm not normally going to whore myself out for that sort of stuff, but it really does actually help the channel. Um, Alright guys, take care. Right Have a nice now. day. Win some Dota.